Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Testing Gyan. In our today's video, we are going to learn about a very important concept in Java, which is loops. So loops in Java are used to execute a set of instruction in a repeated manner based on some condition. So let us try to understand this first by taking an example of jobs and interviews. For example, a person is preparing uh, to secure a good job by giving the interviews. So he or she will keep on giving the interviews until they are securing a good job. So securing a good job is a condition here and giving the interviews is the action. So now let us see the different type of loops which are available in Java. So the first loop is while loop. The syntax for while loop is while and then the condition in this uh, round brackets and then curly braces. Under curly braces we will be writing the code which will be executed inside the while loop. Now if we look at the flow chart based on the condition, if my condition is met, I will go to the body inside the while loop. It will execute the statements inside the while loop and then again it will come to the condition. So if my condition is true again, it will again execute the same set of instructions. If not true, then it will come outside the while loop. Now let us see the implementation of while loop in Eclipse ID. So I have opened my project. Let me create a new class for the loops. I'm giving my class name as loops and I'm including the main method as well. So let us take a very small example to understand the while loops. I am declaring an integer a, a variable a of int type and I am, for now I am not giving any initial value to it. Then I am writing the syntax of while loop while, then the condition is while a is less than 10, print the number. So there are there are two problems in uh, this code. The first one is like the a should be initialized. That is, the for loops the very first step is to initialize whatever the condition you are giving. That condition has to be initialized. So I am initializing my number as zero. Okay. So you can see the error is gone. Now there is one more problem. So let us uh, first execute this uh, program to understand that. So as you can see like it is key printing the zero in a continuous manner and it will keep on doing that until we get the exception stack overflow exception. Okay. So why it is happening like this? It is happening because we have initialized the A. We are comparing the A and at every time A is zero and zero is always less than 10. So it is, it, it is just printing the zero in the console. So to handle this, we have to actually increment the a as well so that that condition is set to fall somewhere and it will uh, stop the while loop okay so now if i execute you can see it has printed the numbers from 0 to 9 so this is how while loop works so guys now we have understood the while loops now let us look at the another type of loop which is do while loop the syntax for do while loop is do curly braces then the body or the instructions which we want to include in the do while loop and then the while condition and the flowchart of do while loop is like this in the do, do while loop the first instruction will be executed then it will check for condition if condition is true then again it will execute the instruction again it will go to condition if condition is true it will ex, uh, in, execute the instruction again if not true then it will come out of the loop the only difference between do while and while loop is like do while loop execute the given instruction for at least one time either condition is true or false because on the first run the condition itself is not um, compared that's why it will always execute the instruction for one time at least now let us try to understand do while loop implementation on the eclipse ide so i have opened my project so let me try to write a syntax for do while loop and I am commenting out my while loop syntax for now. So syntax for do while loop is do, and I want to print my number a, and then my condition while a is less than 20 or less than equal to 20. Okay. 
so for first time my a will be printed at 0 then it will come to the condition and it will start running the loop so let us try to run it first Now again the same problem, the problem which we discussed in while loop, we have initialized the a but we are not in changing its value. So every time 0 is less than or equal to 20. So let us change the value of a by adding a post increment. Now if you see it has printed the numbers from 0 to 20. So this is how do while loop works. I hope you guys are able to understand this if in case you are having any questions please comment over the video section